Hello everyone and welcome to AI Economist and with another comfy UI tutorial. In today's video, we will be exploring the new IP adapter version 2, created by the talented Matteo Spinelli from the Leighton Vision YouTube channel. We will use it to transform a flat lay of clothing like these into a realistic model wearing the outfit. This method will assist you in creating custom outfits for your AI characters and will be beneficial for those in the clothing business. You can find all the necessary links and workflows in the description below, so let's get started. First, we need to install the new IP adapter version 2. If you have the old version installed, you should remove the IP adapter folder from the custom nodes. Then open Comfy UI and load my workflow. You will notice that there are several missing custom nodes that we need to install. Open the Comfy UI Manager and click on Install Missing Custom Nodes. From here, we need to install the Comfy UI Impact Pack, IP Adapter Plus, HD nodes for Comfy UI, and one more node, the Ultimate SD Upscale, before restarting the web UI. Additionally, we need to visit the IP Adapter GitHub page to access all the models. In this new version, we are no longer placing the models inside the custom nodes. Instead, we need to create a folder inside the Comfy UI slash models directory and download all the models and place them there. You also need to place the two clip vision models inside the Comfy UI slash models slash clip vision folder. Now, when you run Comfy UI and load my workflow, you'll find that all the nodes are working fine. Let me explain a bit about what we're seeing here. For the Checkpoint model, I'm using the DreamShaper XL Turbo 2.1 version, which you can find the link in the description. In terms of the positive prompt, what really works for me is to only mention the character, full body a man, excluding details like what they're wearing or their colors. For the image size, I'm using a vertical image. In the case sampler, we need a fixed seed, eight sampling steps, 2 in CFG, and DPM++ SDE Keras Sampler. In the IP adapter settings, you can input the top clothing here. A yellow hoodie with a zipper. The image is connected to the first IP adapter advanced node. Now in the new IP adapter version 2, you only need to load this unified loader and select the IP adapter model. In this case, we are using the plus model. In IP adapter advanced, we require a high weight value, weight type, ease in, and the denoise must needs to end at 0.7. The same settings apply for the bottoms, in this case, military pants. Additionally, you need to use an attention mask for the top and one for the bottom. These chained IP adapters will be connected with our case sampler. Now, let's generate an image and observe the result. We have the outfit we desire. However, the character is barefoot. Let's change the seed and generate again. This one looks quite nice. After generating an image, we are going to use Ultimate SD Upscale, followed by a face detailer to enhance the facial features. Subsequently, we'll use another face detailer node but this time we'll select the hand model in the Ultralistic Detector Provider node. Let's execute the workflow and you'll notice the face and hands look much better now and our character is wearing the desired outfit. Let's try other examples this time. Let's give it a shirt with a red and white square pattern and blue pants. I know this outfit isn't great and I'm not a stylist, but we just need to demonstrate how amazing IP adapter is. This is our result and it looks fantastic. In this case, I'm using the latest DreamShaper XL model, but you can test with other models to get the best of this method. Now let's do another example, and this time, we are going to switch to a female character. You don't need to change much, just switch from a man to a woman in the positive prompt and keep everything else as it is, including the masks. Let's change the top to something different and see how IP adapter will interpret it. 
Using this workflow could help resolve numerous issues for e-commerce businesses that seek professional studio images featuring models wearing their clothing. Additionally, if you have an AI character and wish to customize their appearance, this workflow can be beneficial. For reference, I'm using an NVIDIA RTX 3060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM, and this process is relatively quick. The IP adapter has done a great job capturing the correct shape and color of the top. However, the bottom part resembles leggings more than pants. You can adjust the weight slightly or include specific details in the positive prompt to achieve a result that closely matches your desired outcome. That's all for today, and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Many thanks to the Leighton Vision YouTube channel for their excellent content. I will be sharing two or more tutorials like this every week, so be sure to subscribe and enable notifications to stay updated on my latest videos. Bye for now.